Oh, goodness, Jeffrey Grubb. You know, the problem I have with Jeff Grubb, honestly, is that I've never met the guy. I've never spoken with the guy. For all I know, we would be good pals. But he literally thought, at least this was my understanding, uh, he blocked me when, I think it was when I was like, you know, laying into Stephen, no, no, not Stephen, uh, Jason Schreier. Uh, I think this was, I don't remember really, but it was somewhere in that time period. Uh, and he cited in the tweet I saw was like, I think he really associated me with some kind of alt-right thing. Uh, because my, you know, join the, the, the Gabin and Games membership says something like join the army or join the cause or whatever, which is totally meant to be more like buy U.S. war bonds. It's just like a silly call to action. It's, you know, but for some reason he got it in his little grubby head that I was referring to because somebody asked him, I remember this, somebody asked him, it's like, well, what does that mean, join the army? And Grubb's like, well, something like he said something like, well, it, what do you, it means exactly what you think it means or what do you think it means? Kind of like I'm speaking in some kind of dog whistle code. And I'm just like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? You, you've never met anyone as progressive as I am, motherfuckers. So sit the fuck down. Um, but I only wanted to mention this because somebody brought to my attention on Twitter just now that Grubb was going after uh, this tweet of mine earlier today. Um... And it's just like, dude, you know, basically, uh, you know, I did this video earlier about saying uh, Perfect Dark may be in trouble uh, because of the news that they're partnering with Crystal Dynamics that broke yesterday for, for that game with the initiative. Or I said this could just be the state of quadruple A development, right? And then I made a whole video about it. And in the video, I said, you know, it also could be that the press got it wrong or the PR got it wrong and that the assumption that a lot of people have, myself included, that the initiative was set up to be a company that was soup to nuts, full on development. It wasn't one of these kind of stubs, the zombie companies, if you remember back in the day that had kind of the key creatives and some key tech people and key art people and stuff. And then they would outsource everything else. Um, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. Those, those, those things kind of work. And it's an interesting idea to spend two and a half years on pre-production story prototyping. And then once you know what your game is, that gets sent off to someone else. I think that's a, f a fine um, business model if they can make it work and the relationships are good. But that's not how the initiative was kind of pitched to me by the press. It was, we're pulling talent from Naughty Dog and Sony Santa Monica, and it's going to be the first quadruple A studio. And no one was pushing back, what at least that I saw, when um, people online were assuming this was going to be a proper developer, like, and not this kind of weird hybrid thing. So, Jeff Grubb, when you say, he, he quotes me, or he's, he, he retweets me, and then he says, it's like, he's like, sarcastically, of course, because it seems like that's his one setting. Um, it's, it's like Nintendo asking Capcom to make three Zelda games. Impossible to imagine. Well, Jeffrey, this isn't the same thing. And again, I'm not saying this is impossible to imagine, but this particular scenario, Nintendo, when they ask Capcom to make Minish Leaf or Minish Cap or whatever the fuck it was, it, it's not like Miyamoto is sitting there over their shoulders going, here's the design document. This is what I want. And you guys are basically the carpenters to my architect. Miyamoto was heavily involved at the beginning of, I believe it was Oracle of Seasons, because Capcom didn't know how to make a Zelda game yet. But once he got in there and helped him out at their request, he stepped off and it became Capcom's games that were overseen by Nintendo. That is a traditional second party relationship that a lot of companies, a lot of publishers have. The last two games I worked on with Sony, both of those uh, were second party titles. So it was uh, ultimately, yes, it was our game in the sense that we I was the director and I was the lead designer and whatnot. But of course, Sony had input. It was their property. They were they paid for it. That's what the Nintendo relationship was. So I'm sorry, Grubster, it's not the same. Or if it is the same, then what's going on is that the way the initiative was pitched to the public uh, and all the press and whatnot uh, is not actually what that company was built to be. And that's fair, but that's not what was communicated.
this was not presented as that. This is not presented as my, because at that point you may as well present Microsoft as Nintendo going, we've signed an exclusive deal to make Perfect Dark with Crystal Dynamics. Then you would be absolutely right because Nintendo is a publisher and a developer and they basically have a second party deal with Capcom to make a Zelda game. Fine. But that, and you know good and well, Jeffrey, that is not what the initiative was pitched as. It was not pitched as basically a middleman, second party, ex-dev group. And it shouldn't be because it's not like they only pulled writers and designers and concept artists. In that case, that would make some sense. But they have high talent in almost every category. I made fucking video games for 20 fucking years. More than 20 fucking years, okay? I'm not saying because of that, that means everything I say is right. But don't fucking come at me like you've got data about how this shit works that I don't. You may have data specifically about this occasion, and if so, perhaps you'd like to share it. But if not, I'm telling you the way second party development works, first party development works, I'm telling you the way outsourcing works, this particular deal based on what we see, based on what has been presented to the public, is incredibly unusual. And I'm sorry if you're not bright enough to understand that this is not the same, at least the way it's been presented, as Nintendo and Capcom working together to make Minish Cap. Okay, Jeff?